Grab my hand. Why? Because I keep you safe. Okay, I'll grab your hand, sweet. Neighbors, Blue Healer. They like coming over here and they, they sleep on the property. Not even my dogs and they're protecting my area. It's pretty nice. They're obsessed with that barn. They like hanging out over there. Going home now. Oh, there he goes. What are you guys doing up here anyway? What? Hey, what's up today? I'm getting away. I'm carving a path. You don't have to worry about it. You're carving a path. What are you using? Freaking unicorn hardcore axe. <laughs> what's that? What's that? What's that in your pocket there? Is that squirrel? your gap piece? Yeah. Is that your, squir is your squirrel getter? Squirrel getter. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie, are you climbing trees? So, are you, uh, so you're gathering mulch? Yeah, we're doing mulch. Okay. Preparing for next year. Alright, you're, you're just clearing some stuff out for... Yeah, clearing a path. Oh. That's all. I'm not going crazy. Well, I'm going the whole freaking... You got plenty of, plenty of leaves. Ah! You know, ever since I brought you out to the country, you have just been getting crazy. Wanting to cut down trees. It's like you're you're trying to get out all that pent up aggression you didn't get to do when you were a child. Right. <laughs> See, I did all this kind of stuff. <laughs> Catching up for lost time. Catching up for lost time. Bandit, are you eating more toothbrushes? <laughs> Look at that kid. He just going crazy on trees all right we got to get to work on this uh box garden thing and i gotta finish all that stuff up word word, word. she wouldn't let me take over and of course bandit has the bar credit but we have our box kind of <laughs> for this is going to be for the uh herbs right herbs and we're gonna do like chives or something Garlic. Yeah, yeah something like that nothing too fancy need more kids. i know right well all the planting dates are a little off for us because most of it's april for a lot of it so we're gonna do a lot of our planting in april but we're just getting some stuff set up right now which this is gonna be cool yep just gotta fill her up yeah, got some out. get some uh compost going babe you gotta get to work on that compost pile yeah <laughs> but you to work i was excited to see my cherry tomatoes are starting to come they're starting to pop out not a whole lot of them at the moment but you can see they're gradually starting to break through and it looks like i'll have a few cherry tomatoes i can plant in the garden you have to start this process inside. You can't you can't have them outside. So I'm just doing the uh, seed starting for these guys, and I was just using some UV light and things like that. And there's uh, I've I'm I've been reading a lot about different techniques for grow indoors to do seed starting, and I'm just kind of using what I got to make it happen. And this is just you know free it's it's all free I, I had some pot and soil i just threw in here and and uh and then kicked on some lights and i was learning about uh, uvs and uv rays and all this other stuff and techniques for for grow so you jacked my toothbrush oh you knew you screwed up Big time. Look at that face. Look at that face. He took my toothbrush. Why my toothbrush? You can't brush your teeth. You bandit. I was reading a post about dogs. And if your dog lays in this position, they've become emo. And they've lost touch with their who they are. And they have no purpose 
and they feel that they're they're left out and very insecure. And if they lay in the curled position, then they're flolicky, happy little dogs, and uh, they're very loving in nature. So dog has lost his self-identity. And self-esteem. This one has two. Yeah, they look good. <laughs> and they're very jumpy. <laughs> So we figured we would, would we would change out our water storage. We're just going through. We have so many containers, and I just want to put fresh, clean water. And I'm adding my bleach, and do about eight to ten, depending on how many gallons you got, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, all right. What's up? What's we, what do we got? What we rocking? Well, I just I went ahead and uh, put oil. I just oiled this so it would fit a little bit better. But well, it fit good to begin with. But don't get the wrong idea, folks. Yeah. Made sure this was good and tight. It fits nice and snug. It's mm -hmm. protected by rivets, and it's it uh, it it has uh, uh this this is Kevlar cord, so it's got Kevlar. And it <laughs> something along those lines. Mm. But, Heavy duty. Uh, I did this so that when you dismount this from something, when you remove it from something, it actually holds the blade in there better if you were to like throw it or something like that. If you had to do something like that. That's, that's how she looks. And then it will, the way it's set up is for my Maxpedition bag. This is my Maxpedition bag. And on the bottom here, this has got a groove cut so that it slips here, here, and yeah. here. And will mount just like that. Hmm. So I can carry it. Very nice. There we go. Thanks, babe. All right. Wife can't be here to to nag me on the side for today's video well uh she's real busy and uh, they, they only have three nurses on the floor so the hospitals are pretty crazy right now anyway so i've got this uh contraption i made up now all i did was pvc pipe and i put piece of a yardstick down here let me turn around this way a piece of a yardstick down here now I sh I wish I would have had like the joints but I didn't have them here when I was making this but if I had the joints I could have just put joints in here and bring it out and bring a leg down and probably add another joint but I did it like this and it's pretty pretty stable now this purpose here is a uh, this is my coffee can that I, I use to put my seeds in. And this is my handle and my hanger. <laughs> this is just something I came up with. And I have a lot of seeds to lay. This over here is just for March, the last of March. And then we've got, uh, uh, we've got May, uh, May planting we've got to do over there. And I'm going to have to till up more. And I still have to cultivate this. This isn't this isn't ready yet I still have to cultivate and I'm probably gonna run the tiller through it one more time just to be for certain and uh, we got some other things we got to do to it before we get 
get to planting but I wanted to try this out my spacing for a lot of the stuff that I'm planting is uh, around in this range now if you need to change your range for your planting distance then you could bring this PVC pipe in closer and that would be your distance again you just change this to here and move it back to there when you need it longer uh, but it's movable so that's the other thing and I wanted to be able to hang it up and I wanted to have a handle so well you'll drop this you start you'll start at the beginning of your row where you're gonna be now you, you can set this here but this goes in you push in set flex you push in with that one and that one will punch a notch this one here you've already got your notch punch and you'll drop you'll reach in grab your seed drop it down your chute and there's your seed and then move on to the next place that you've already marked like this Let me move over this way a little bit so you guys can see mark and grab drop and then to the next mark that you made mark set it in drop and continue and you can just keep going all the way down like that but I think it'll work fine and as long as as long as I don't clog this up that's the other problem you gotta make sure you keep this open so you might have to lift it up and check it every now and then to make sure you didn't clog it up or you could just put something flat around it that's probably what I'm gonna do is just drill a hole through a board and just place a board on the bottom here so that doesn't sink into the mud or dirt or whatever it is where I'm dropping my seed because things get muddy around here because it rains a lot. If you're a survivalist, I guess, and you're also a gardener, <laughs> or maybe you're building the survival garden, I don't know. But if you need to murk a few fools while you're gardening, this thing right here, <laughs> I tell you, I don't have a card or a name, but I'm sure I will find it. I know I added it in the Amazon store once I, once I did find it. I, I did find it. I, I know I added it in the uh, Amazon store. If you go to our link, I'll find all kinds of weird stuff like this. But this, this weird thing, it's got another lanyard hole here. I ended up with two of them. I don't know how I, I guess the kids can take them and put them in their bags. But you've got on this side, you have your serrated edge. Then you have your bladed edge all the way around and then you have, you know, your, your typical wrench routine and, and things that they add to these. But the way it's set up, you've got holes throughout here in the inside and you can unravel this thing and wrap it around something, shove, a, uh, shove another stick through it, use it as a spear or whatever, but it's a shovel. It is a gardening shovel and I was messing around with it. I threw the thing it sticks and well, I'm not going to demonstrate that again but I don't want to I don't want to destroy these things because they're kind of unique and I don't know if I'll find any more of them but I've uh, got these two that I got and you could make something like that if you want it I'm going to add these for the kids little equipment so they can they can dig and stuff, but I'll have to explain to them about the edges on these things so they don't cut themselves. I handed one of these to the wife and told her, you know, she could use it because she was messing around in her flower bed. Here, have that. And she's like, I I have a regular shovel. So anyways, but it's just weird. Another weird item that I found. I guess that's all I got other than my other little project that I'm doing over here is this uh, shovel. I have a World War II shovel, and I have one right here. This is, uh, you guys might have seen this one on the channel quite a bit being used. And the, uh, the other one we had for abuse was this guy. Now, these things are kind of heavy. This is the one that we had for just beating the crap out of. And you have your spike, and you can go... In this direction and add another spike 
like this. It's like he's throwing a middle finger or something. It's pretty funny. Yeah. Like this, like this. Back to a shovel. And you can close it all the way up. We already know that part. So I found this. It's got the grains going straight through, so that's positive. And then you can, uh, once I file this down a bit and I can get it worked in there, it's got holes so I can put new steel pins through it. And I'm hoping I can just make a longer version of one of these. You could use it as a, as a hoe or an e-tool or something like that. Um, and would be nice if that could cultivate a bit better, but you've only got one spike. So it'd be a nice little addition to, but uh, the wife broke the handle off this one because she was doing those wife things. Anything that keeps me from having to bend over. <laughs> Anyways, I thought it was a cool idea. Wife, wife thought it was a terrible idea. What are you doing? You're just, you're just making something to put seeds in. Whatever, man. You know, I just come up with these weird ideas and start making stuff. So a lot of people like these crazy ideas. All right. God bless you guys. Take care.